In this video, I am going to be talking about the hidden features in Marrow. Apparently, hidden features in Marrow. Because some of these features, I don't really think most people know it. Or at least I think most people know it. But they don't actually use it as much as they should actually be using it. I am Rohit Pivia, a third year medical student in Madhuri Medical College. And in this channel, I make videos about medical school stuffs. And alongside, I also make videos about productivity, spirituality and some of my favorite books. So, if this sounds like a cup of tea, then do hit the subscribe button, that would mean a lot to me. The Maro app is really good, it doesn't really have much hidden features, that's actually a good thing you know, because everything should be easily accessible to everyone, not everyone is techy, so everyone should be knowing how to use uh, the app properly. So Maro is an amazing app, hats off to the developers of the app, it is really good, the structure is really good, but there are some features that most people don't actually use properly. First thing is I need to talk about the custom module session. So there is this option called a custom module. So if you can actually make your own MCQ bank uh, from the humongous MCQ bank collection. For example, if you want a Q bank exclusively from the year part of uh, EMD, then you can create a selective Q bank just for those questions alone. And if you want to make a Q bank that just has all the incorrect questions that you ever got in the Marrow Q bank, you can make it. If you need a Q bank that has all the bookmark questions you have, you can do that as well. So once you do this, there will be these two options, the exam mode and the regular mode. In the exam mode, it will exactly be like an exam. You have to mark every single question one by one and at the end, you will be shown the answers. And in the other mode, uh, you can mark your answer and then immediately the answer will come. I usually use the regular mode because uh, I like to see the answer immediately so that I can immediately correct my mistake. But some go with the exam mode as well. So this I would call apparently hidden uh, mode in uh, Maro. And you can literally share your custom module to your friend as well. So there will be this option called this. So they will be giving this MCQ bank uh, ID code. You can literally just copy and send it to your friend over WhatsApp. And they can literally have this very same Q bank. And you both can solve the same Q bank. This will actually be very helpful. If you have a good friend of yours who also studies equally like you. You can find the errors your friend has made. You can help them correct their mistakes. They will also help you correct your mistakes. So that is an amazing option. And one more thing that I need to talk about is med AD. So medicine is vast. Everyone knows that. But Rakesh sir has taken the effort to consolidate entire marrow medicine into just 80 hours. I feel like we can use med AD if we have less time and if we need to have a bit revision. So med AD is also an amazing option. And literally in the home page, we have this option called recent updates. If you click them, you can literally go through all the recent necessary updates that a medical student should know in the realm of the medical world. So for example, in uh, here we can see these various updates. Like uh, I even saw this update where they were talking about how who declares the monkey paws as an epidemic or whatever. So it was it is really useful. Uh, I wouldn't really say that I have been using it as much as I should be. But I am talking about this in this video so that I will also get motivated to look at them as frequently as I should actually be doing it. And in the home page, we have this other option called as Pearls. You can click the Pearls, you can go through all the subjects, you can select the relevant topics and you can just have amazing high yield Pearls, amazing high yield content right in your fingertips. This is also an amazing feature in Marrow. You can screenshot Q-Banks. Yes, you can actually screenshot the Q-Banks. Screenshots of the video is not allowed because obviously piracy. But you can actually screenshot the Q-Banks and uh, thanks to Maro for actually letting us uh, take screenshots of the Q-Bank. It really helps us a lot because I am usually a fan of screenshots. I'll screenshot a particular Q-Bank, I'll screenshot the question, crop it and take that single image as an information piece and I will annotate it to my digital uh, notebook. So I like the feature so you can uh, safely screenshot your Q-Banks, there is uh, no problem with that. And uh, this might be pretty common but still I am sharing it, at the end of the Q-Bank Every Q-Bank will be having its own ID, number, whatever you want to call it. You can copy it and send it to your friend and your friend can solve it right then and there. You can also take this uh, Q-Bank ID and uh, you can also take this MCQ ID and uh, note down in your uh, digital notebook. So sometime if you need to solve it in the future, you can do it. And in the custom orders also, you can solve it in a similar way. But uh, noting down in notebook looks like a pretty cooler way to do the same thing. So you can uh, follow that as well. Feel free to share the hidden features that you know in Marrow. So in this video, I have talked about how to use Marrow effectively. So make sure you check it out. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in this video.